Train Liam in just three days. I heard about a book called The Three Day Potty Training, but I think I looked it up and I did. I was just so ready to start that I was not trying to wait for the book to be shipped. So I just started reading on different blogs and put together my own system, which is what I'm going to share with you today. I was so ready. I was done changing those nasty toddler poops. And when Liam turned three, I just felt this was the perfect age for us. Um, I felt that, you know, he already knows when to tell me how, when he wants to drink, eat, so he would definitely be able to tell me when he has to pee, poo. So I felt three years old for us was the right age. What I did was every 20 minutes I would set my cell phone as with a reminder to have Liam go to the bathroom. So this is what I did on day one and he would go. Most of the times he would tell me that he didn't have to go but of course I would sit him down and he would go. And what we did was we didn't use a little potty seat or anything like that. I would just turn him over so if you sit on a toilet this way I would turn him over facing the bowl. That way their little hiney is on the narrow part of the seat and he can just hold on and he feels totally safe and secure. So for the next couple days we didn't go anywhere and I just repeated this process. One of your biggest concerns, pee may be easy but the poo part is the difficult part because you just, with peeing you could just tell them to go, you know if they drink something they gotta go and unless your kid has like a regular, which Liam kinda did when he was younger, poop schedule, you're not gonna really know when they have to poop. There's no signals like doing the pee pee dance or anything like that. So I was just waiting. I kept telling him, Liam, when you have to go caca, tell mommy, tell mommy, but nothing. He didn't tell me. He told me the whole day that he didn't have to go, didn't have to go. So this was day one. He did, I, so I caught him kind of hiding, and I was like, oh, there's, my, there's my clue. He's got to poop. So I told him, I put him on the toilet, come on, Liam, you got to poop, and he denied it, denied it, told me that, that he didn't have to. The moment I took him off the toilet, like five minutes later, he's playing, and I see him poke out his butt, and poop starts to fall, and I'm like, ah, come on, I grab him, and he finished the poop, so he did poop on my floor, but he finished it on the toilet, and it was so cute, he asked me to close the door for him. So he finished it on the toilet, I gave him his privacy, even kids want privacy when they're pooping, and we had a huge celebration because he finished it. I still gave him the credit because he did finish it in the toilet. So by the next day, you guys, he was able to tell me that he had to go caca in the toilet. I guess one little accident and he was like, that was disgusting. It was all over his leg everywhere. It was disgusting. But even he felt that. So by day two, he told me that he needed to go. And I was so excited because I sat him on the toilet, reverse, and he totally went. So I would say that it took me, I did the, the every 20 minutes for three days and after that you guys it was it's just a matter of asking him to go so now we're on our second week and every like maybe 45 minutes to an hour I will ask him but he's totally got it so down packed that he goes by himself so the only trouble you're gonna have or the only disgusting part at home it's great but public going to the bathroom in public ugh. So what I started doing, which my friend Carolina gave me this suggestion, um, was to, I take a cup and I just have him pee in the cup. With boys, this is easy. I don't know how you would do this with a girl, but I, he just pees in the cup and I pour it in the toilet. So I've been doing that at home a little bit, like, because the way he does it at home is he strips down and he sits on the toilet, but we can't do that in public. That's disgusting. So sometimes if he has shoes, socks, everything on, I'll just do the cup thing at home that will kind of train us for when we're out. And that just solves the pee pee problem. I haven't dealt with the poop, which I'm not looking forward to him needing to poop like we're in the middle of a nasty store or something. I know the day will come. But um, for right now, just the peeing and the cup thing for when you're out in public, it totally works. So that's how I did it. We just mastered it, repeat it, ask them all the time. And your kid may take a little more time. Just be prepared to stay home, not to go anywhere. Have them get used to telling you that they have to pee. We figured out how to do it in three days and we mastered it by seven days. So now we're on week two and my son is officially potty trained. I know that it can be frustrating for a lot of people, but we just, it was fairly easy for us. So I wish you good luck in the potty training adventures. Hope that helped. Bye. Would have saved me so much grief and time upon my knees. It takes more.